Jeannie Walsh, and we're here today with California Scenes TV 15 Common Bay Audubon Center. And I'm here today with designer Colleen Quinn, who's working on the project. It's called the Sarah Bush Project, and I'm going to let her take over and tell a little bit about what she did to collaborate on this project. Hi, my name is Colleen Quinn. I'm a Couturier. And I've been invited by Sarah Bush Dance Project and Audubon Society to create bird costumes and bird, I guess just understanding the style of the bird and the character. Uh, so my job was to learn about the dancer and their style and also translate it into bird creations. So over here on the left side are my illustrations. Uh, there's nine beautiful dancers, um, they each have their own beautiful character, um, and each one has selected their own bird. So therefore, let's say uh, we have Sarah Bush, and Sarah Bush is the choreographer and the creator artist, artist and director. I created her uh, metal mark, which is so beautiful, and also her style and shape. So here you'll see her, her movement in, and also the bird style at the same time. So again, we go into all the other dancers, but each dancer has its own character and personality, as well as the bird having its own character, too. It's so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Holly. Can you, and you, can you tell us a little bit about the installations that you created for this production? I would love to share more. Um, this is an installation that um, I've worked on with Sarah Bush and Kasia, too. Um, and what I wanted to do is share my couture pattern work. So I'm a couturier, so everything is made to measure, so I calculate and engineer the body shape into the bird form. So I wanted to kind of share and educate everyone what each dancer and their body form looks like, as well as the costume. So they're almost like bird spirits flying in the air. And when I saw this room, I just felt this um, ethereal feeling um, of them flying. And so again, this is much more like showing the technical work as well as the creative work of the way that I work. I have this kind of yin yang kind of feeling of analytical as well as uh, this imagination too. And you know, that's one of the things I love about you, Colleen, is that you're not just a short designer, but you're also an artist, and you're, you create so many different things, and you're such a multifaceted um, artist in, in all directions, between like playing instruments, and your paintings, and your, you know, this is so unique, I've never seen anything like this. And um, I'm excited to see how the show's gonna go today. I am so excited that you're here too. Thank you. And I, I want you to just experience it and feel it. It's all about feeling. And, and you know, nowadays right now, we're going through so much that we need to be in touch with ourselves again. And I think this is such a healing uh, performance time for all of us to be here. I absolutely agree with that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm here with another collaborator for this amazing production, and I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about this. This is Molly Songas. Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. I'm Molly Songas with the Audubon California, and I'm directing this Artists in Residence and this special three-day event we have this weekend. And you're here right now at Richardson Bay Audubon Center which is overlooking this gorgeous waterfowl sanctuary, a place that Audubon stewards year after year. As waterfowl migrate in off the Pacific Flyway, they land on these waters and they rest and forage throughout the winter. And that's part of how we take care of about 20,000 um, birds right here in the San Francisco wow. Bay. I have no idea, that's amazing. Yeah. Wow. I want to welcome you to the Richardson Bay Audubon Center, where we're overlooking a 900 acre waterfowl sanctuary. Each year, about 20,000 water birds and waterfowl will descend on these waters here, and they'll rest and forage throughout the winter, building their strength through their long migrations north and south. And this is a site of hemispheric importance. It is so critical that these waters are stewarded, as Audubon has been doing for many years now, um, to take care of our migratory birds all along the Pacific Flyway. Here in costume is a red-shouldered hawk, one of the many birds that we have featured in our fashion show and our dance event this weekend. And it's so beautiful to be blending art and fashion and birds because really birds are these incredible fashionistas. They always have pristine plumage. They, they wake up, they, I woke up like this, is basically their anthem. Every day they wake up with such gorgeous looks. 
and they're all so unique, all very refined for exactly who they are and the place they have in their ecosystems, whether or not they need to be hiding or they want to be seen. Um, and they also have such distinctive movements. They are gorgeous dancers unto themselves. The way they'll glide through the air, or they have sharp turns to catch small insects, or the way that they'll come down on the ground to cover their prey. Whatever their movement is, it's so specific to each species. It's like their own language, their own movement and language. So when we came into this project to try to understand them a little bit better through how they move and how they embody their unique birdiness. It's been a beautiful process to say, well, how do I hold that steady glide? Or how do I do that flourish that would captivate a mate, you know? Um, or how do I walk with such stillness as to not scare my prey away before I spear them through the waters? You know, they have such uh, intention behind each movement. And it's been this beautiful exploration to try to blend it with our art form. Love it. And wow. yeah, and to celebrate Beautiful. them, and to really honor them, and uh, come come into awe in our relationship with them. To say, could I have just a little bit of your magic? Can you teach me so that I can embody you a little bit and present you to the world? So it's it's, it's exciting. Been so fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this time with you, and we look forward to the show. Yeah. Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm Sarah Bush. I'm the artistic director of Sarah Bush Dance Project. We're in our 14th season now. We started in 2007. How's my math? <laughs> um, and we're here today at the Richardson Bay Audubon Center and Sanctuary in Tiburon. And um, my dance company that's expanded now into fashion designers and visual artists and many mediums, um, we've had an artist residency here at the Richardson Bay. Audubon Center, and um, with COVID, the center closed down, and we didn't actually get to be here <laughs> for that residency. But we created a beautiful partnership with um, the folks here through Audubon, especially Molly Songus, mm -hmm. and um, started learning about birds from home, and studying the birds in our own neighborhoods, and finding that that was a way for us all as artists who couldn't be in rehearsal and couldn't be in the theater to um, stay connected. So we started meeting over Zoom, as I all of us that. did, I love that. and learning how to create and embody different birds. Um, and they became, the birds really felt like this nice, I think each of us had a different connection to the birds. Mm -hmm. For me, they felt like um, a kind of a touchstone, a reminder that um, there's these little, um, bits of wonder still out there in the world and these reminders to pay attention. So I appreciate every time now a bird fly. I was not a bird person <laughs> ever before two years ago. Um, but now I just feel like it's such a gift that birds are everywhere. Everywhere that there are people, there are birds. And um, yeah, they connect us to the wider world, to the natural world. And this time when there's been a lot of struggle, a lot of loss, a lot of grief, a lot of hardship, to be reminded of this, um, these lives that are bigger than our own and the ways that um, we're connected to this um, planet. That's <laughs> so fabulous. The yeah, but so this weekend, sorry, I didn't quite answer your question. Um, this weekend, we put together um, an event called Murmur. And um, it's a murmur as a quiet but strong um, sound. And this um, small gathering of mighty artists um, with COVID, we've kept it very small and intimate, um, but very rich in terms of artistry. And we really have, um, the artists have spread out across the whole property and um, placed their birds in the natural landscape. So um, the cameras are gonna get to follow the performance and see, I'm the, I'm the Western Meadowlark and I'm a grassland bird. And so you'll see me in that setting. Um, so each of the birds has really selected their location. They have shorebirds down by the water. Um, and we get to wear these incredible, incredible costumes by Colleen Quinn. I can't even, yes, check the tail. I mean, really. Um, I, what a gift to have Colleen in my life. Um, yes, 
She's lovely. She is she's lovely. lovely. And I'm honored. And you're wearing the Colleen. And this is the dress my daughter wore when she was 16, oh. model for Colleen. Oh, I didn't know yes. that. Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. And all the wings, right? Yeah. We're all into, you can see in this room. Rubbers and butterflies yeah. and birds. Butterflies and wings and birds and yeah, all of that um, flight. And so, Sarah, can I ask you then, um, with with this um, whole production for the whole weekend, I know it's a private event. Um, what? How can other people view this, and how can other people experience this immersive experience that we get to actually be part of today? Yeah, thank you, Jeannie. Yeah, it's really important to me that hopefully anyone and everyone that wants to experience this gets to. And the way we could figure to do that with COVID was to live stream it. So it's an experiment um, using Facebook, using Instagram, that um, we'll have different people walking through the production, just live streaming to social media accounts. So if you go to Sarah Bush Dance on either Facebook or on Instagram, or the hashtag uh, Six Foot Wingspan Murmur, um, you should be able to find some live streams happening um, Friday and Saturday, and those videos will stay up online after the fact, too. So it's our way to try to invite everyone in um, to enjoy um, what, what we have been so fortunate to get to enjoy here in person. So we're hoping it feels immersive even for you at home as you watch it. Well, thank you so much for everything today, yeah, and I'm excited to see the show on Sunday. Thank I'm really you. excited. Yeah, <laughs> it's great to have you here. Thank you. So glad. We're yeah. glad to be part of it. Thank you. Oh, thanks so much. to them or lack thereof and um, what we've done is over the past year really we have um, deepened our relationship with birds but also deepened our relationship with a particular bird and so we've chosen the bird that we either are interested in or feel most connected to mine is the crow and, um, and that relationship started a very long time ago how they show up in my life and so I chose the crow so I could learn more about, um, just learn more about them. And um, as I have um, learned more about them doing bird sits, we've done bird sits together. The, the, there are nine of us. Um, we've done bird sits together. We've done bird sits on our own. And basically a bird sit is where you sit down and just, and listen. And if you do that, pretty much you're gonna hear a bird or many birds around you wherever you are, especially if you're out in nature. Um, and so that has helped us to actually develop our performance, which is happening over the next three days. Um, and the performance is a, a journey into, first of all, just um, 
diving into the look of the bird through costume and through makeup as you can see I don't normally walk around like this <laughs> but um, I would if I could uh, but um, uh, Colleen Quinn has basically created these incredible costumes that are um, a represent re representation of the bird that we've chosen and um, and then the actual dance piece I choreographed a piece and then I'll be doing um, solo work in this uh, performance over the next few days and some of it represents the birds movement and and then it represents the interpretation of the birds movement melded with who we are as individuals and our own characters and um, and that's it really it's been just such a, an incredible thing to really understand that there are these beings these birds around us all the time that for the most part we don't you know we look and we you know look up and see how pretty they are we see them and um, or hear them but not really know about what their journey is and, and what they're um, what they're up against and when I say up against in, in terms of how we behave really affects their life and so I feel like it's important for us to really understand our effect on every single bird, every single creature. But it's been an extraordinary journey to really understand specifically how we affect our, um, our bird family and to be more conscious, be more awake, be more aware, and be more loving towards them. I love that. It's beautiful. Thank you so much, Michelle. You're so welcome. Absolutely. Thank you.